Welcome back to the making of a book series video five. If you have missed videos one through four, you'll want to go back and check those out because this video is going to make a lot more sense if you have seen those first four. Since my last video, some time has passed. We are now at the end of March and I have sent back, um, actually sent out all of the fabrics with the exception of one to my sample makers and some of the quilts are there some of the samples are already done and are at my quilter or are on the way to the quilter so i have things in all stages of production right now but i do still have some of the fabrics here for things that have been sent out so i wanted to share the actual fabrics it's nice to see those digital mock-ups of the quilts but it, you can get an even better idea of what the quilts are going to look like once you see the fabrics that i will be using so first up I want to show you the fabrics that I chose for the quilt made with the minky backing now if you remember that is the black and white quilt black white and gray and this is the stack of fabrics that I ended up choosing for this quilt and I got a lot of these from my local quilt shops and some of them I had in my stash already and it's just this nice warm grays and blacks and beiges and some creams in there and I just chose fabrics that I liked that fit the palette that I was going for. So that's that one. Next up is the Christmas quilt. This is the red and green quilt. I had mentioned that I wasn't sure in the previous video where I talked about this quilt if I was going to use um, one red print or a variety of reds. I ended up choosing just one red print and then just one green and then a background. And I am using fabrics from Zen Chic Spotted Collection. It's a basics collection that she does for Moda. And this is what the print looks like. This is the red from the collection. Well, one of the reds, there's more than one, but this is the one that I'm using in the quilt. And then I chose a green and a white from that same line. I don't have those here, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of what that will look like. The next one that I want to show you is the favorite quilt block quilt, and I'm using Apricot and Ash for this quilt. This is a fat quarter bundle of that collection. I'm not using any of the greens in this quilt. Let me hold that up for you. Hold the quilt up for you so that you can see that. So this is what the quilt looks like, and as you can see, no greens. I just stuck with the grays and then the corals. And I think that's going to be really pretty. It's my favorite quilt block and I really do like this collection. The next one that I want to show you guys the fabrics for is the quilt made by grandma. And I had showed you the mock-up using at home and I just stuck with these fabrics. I think that looks really pretty. And so these are the fabrics. These are two fat quarter bundles, but both from the same collection. And I have a jelly roll that I'll be using for the quilt. But I also have a fat quarter bundle because I thought it was so pretty. So that, those are the fabrics for that one. And the last quilt I'm gonna show you, it's actually a quilt top. So we've had enough time go by that I have started, as I said, getting quilt tops back. So instead of showing you the fabrics, for this last quilt, I thought I would give you a little bit of a peek at the quilt top. Now this one has changed a bit from my original plan. This one is the quilt made with fat quarters. And I had originally planned to use strawberries and rhubarb for this quilt. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get these fabrics in time for when I needed them. And so I had to make an alternate choice. And I had planned to use Almoda fabrics for this complete book, but I also have quite a collection of Tilda fabrics that I have been collecting for probably, I bet 10 years or so. And I decided that I wanted to use some of them for this quilt. So um, I ended up using a newer line of fabric. It's called Maple Farm, mixed in with, I think I have another print in here that's maybe from an older collection, but I really like the way it turned out. Let me slide some of these things out of the way and then I will hold this up for you guys and let you see a little bit of a peek at the quilt top. I don't think I'm going to show all the quilt tops to you as they come in, but I thought it would be fun to show one of them to you. So it still has a very similar feel to what I wanted it to have with those grays and kind of those warm shades. And I just think that's so pretty. Interestingly enough, my turtle loving daughter, you saw the greens and blues and those fabrics for that turtle quilt. She loves these sorts of fabrics. She says, mom, I just love those fabrics that have kind of an old fashioned feel. 
and I think you can see you know kind of what she sees in them when she sees them so that is a little peek at one of the quilt tops and that's what I wanted to share with you guys today in the next video I think I might share maybe some of the completed quilts as they're coming back to me um, I want to leave some of it as a surprise. There's a whole part of the book that I haven't shared at all with you guys yet, so I want there to be some surprise to it as we move on through. Um, but I think it would be fun to show you guys some of the quilts as they come in, and so I think that's going to be my plan for next time. So thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.